So, here is our project today. We got some alici, nice and clean. We're gonna do my They're all clean and uh, all the bones are out. And I'm, I wash them and I'm drying them out. Wow. I'm going to take them and uh, skin down. So I'm layering them in our dish here. Leaving enough space for the marination. I now, I now go ahead and pour some white distilled vinegar which is good for melting uh, uh, disinfect and one other thing is also preserve and in this case it's kind of cooking our fish so i put a nice layer of that right above the fish I don't want anything to stick out because you don't want it to dry out. There we go. We're gonna let it stand. We wanna put it in the refrigerator, let it stand for uh, about half an hour, depending on, we're gonna see that the edge start turning white. Eventually the whole thing is gonna be kind of whitish. That means it's cooked naturally without hitting the fire. These are old ancient recipes that um you know when it was not so convenient to have a stove and etc we and and fish were in season like this time of the year uh, this was a way to cook them and have them for several days so i'm putting them in the refrigerator because we are in italy and right now we're having a, a tremendous um heat wave we are heating somewhere between 105 to 110 Fahrenheit and I don't want to risk anything. So we're going to let it sit in here for a little bit. You can see they're already uh, cooking, so to speak, with, uh, with the acidity of the vinegar. Let's come back in a few. As you can see, they are turning whitish, so they should be pretty good soon. So it's time to get them out. It's been roughly an hour. As you can see, they are the change. We don't want to do it too long because if we leave them too long, what happens is um, they're going to get mushy. So what I'm doing now is I take them out and I put it on absorbing paper to get the excess vinegar off of uh, the the fish and we're going to discard this vinegar because it's going to be fishy unless you need to do more you could reuse it but you know we're not going to do that so i'm going to continue with that and then i'll show you how to dress it up so here we go i um uh, Put another sheet of absorbing paper. I put them down to get all the excess vinegar. Let it stand, let everything absorb. So we're going uh, to the garden and pick a nice hot paper. I think this one would be nice. There we go. Oh baby. It looks dangerous. Let's see what's gonna do. So let's get some mint. Nice parsley. So these are the ingredients we're going to need to marinate. We have old mixed herbs, gar I mean, yeah, garlic, hot pepper, and boy, they are hot. I just had a taste of it and uh, Kind of burning. Um, I got meat, parsley, touch of fresh oregano, and um, all chopped finely all together. We got black pepper and uh, salt. 
Here we go. I put a little layer of olive oil. I start by rearranging our alici. Just like that. I'm, I'm just gonna do a raw like this. Probably Yeah, maybe three, it's enough. I'm just gonna go like this. I want them to to be all free, not overlaying anything. There we go. Oh my God, I'm salivating, thinking about the result of this incredible, great, Italian uh, traditional dish. Put a couple more here. I'm probably gonna be able to fit them all. Here we go. One more here in the spot. Rearrange something. One more here. And uh, here, and there you have it. Let's get the next ingredients. What I'm doing now is a good squeeze of uh, this beautiful Sorrento lemon. You're gonna get some pits. You can either leave them there, or you can fish them out after, not a big deal. Look at the juice coming out. The entire apartment, the entire kitchen for sure smells like lemon. There we go. We get some of our blend of herbs. We're gonna start with the pepperoncino and garlic. I'm gonna mix them together. I'm gonna distribute them like that. As you can see, I cut the garlic in little slivers, like very tiny slivers, you know, like super thin, you know, like that. So, and they're gonna be marinated. When they marinate, they don't have the harsh taste. So, you, you eat the whole thing, you know, put them on a nice toast and etc. So now we got that. And time to sprinkle everything with some nice olive oil. You're gonna have to do a lot of olive oil. And once you eat this, all the um, aligi, you can use the oil to make like a spaghetti aioli or with the taste of aligi, so nothing goes to waste here. Now, this is There we go. And we're going to let it sit overnight until we enjoy them. It has been now overnight in the fridge. Let's get them out. And let's unveil this masterpiece. Oh yeah, baby. I'm ready for it. Some good crusty bread. Dip in the, the olive oil a little bit. We'll get one of these out. A little hot pepper. Yes. 
and there you have it.